<laughs> direct tour. Paimon knows what the director and the logistics support person do, but what's a clapper loader? Yeah, what is the cl See? I thought I thought I, I thought I was the uh, I was like uh, The clapper you know? loader is responsible for using the clapper board to record and organize the information of each shot when the camera operator begins shooting. The work requires both patience and careful attention to detail. Oh, it's like it's like you know um uh, you watch TV shows or something, and then like the program starts and everyone just woo yeah, you know they clap. You just a clapper. Welcome board? everybody, welcome, welcome. Oh, you mean the thing they hold that goes clap whenever they start filming? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes, that's right. Are you interested in that job? Do we just clap? <laughs> For sure, Paimon's always wanted to try that. All right, then you'll be our clapper loader. I can find someone from the store to help with logistics. What do you think, Xavier? No, I want to be the cameraman, man. Oh, fine by me. As for our camera operator, I was thinking of letting the traveler take the role. Wait, oh wait, no, wait a minute, we... Yes, thank you. Thank you, oh, we are. Oh, she's great when it comes to using a camera. Paimon can't even count how many things we've taken photos of during our journey. Oh, uh, have we? Yes, that's also what I was thinking. I noticed the Traveler had an eye for photography and composition when we worked together previously. Oh, you. Stop it. I'm sure that's due to the Traveler's journey across Devat and all the places they've seen. After so many adventures, using a camera must be second nature by now. Mm-hmm. What do you say, Traveler? Are you interested in the job? As long as we'll be able to help. Lights. Camera action. Thank you. It really means a lot to me. Come on, friend. Let me give you a big warm hug. Whoa there, man. Uh, I think we better get to work. So all that's left for us to find is a director and an assistant. Oh, me, me, me. I want to be the director's assistant. All we need to do is help the director, right? I can handle that. All right. All right. Then all we need <sighs> is a director. Oh, all the well-known directors in Fontaine are probably also busy working on their own films these days. I'm not sure who will have time to help. I have one person in mind. Oh, Farina helped out a theater troupe recently by serving as an artistic consultant. Yeah. She could be a good director, right? Besides, it's not like she has anything else to do right now. Damn, take advantage of that, yeah. F F F Farina? Uh, do you really think Lady Farina would be willing to help us with our humble project? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, she did it once already. Isn't that but... the name of Fontaine's Hydro Archon? My brother has already informed me about what happened here in Fontaine. Yep, that's her! She helped out a theater troupe not too long ago, and now she's taking up work as a director! Well, uh... Oh, I saw that musical. Her performance was perfect, and the storyboards were also excellent. Don't let her form or identity intimidate you. She's the best candidate we can think of right now. You'll never know until you give her a shot. Fine, you're right, Chiori. I'll do anything for the Chiori, sake of my yeah. film, anything! Oh, then I'll have to ask the Traveler and Paimon to show me the way to Lady Farina's residence. I just hope she'll agree to help. She will most likely say no first and then come later. Do you need us Maybe. to also come along? Hmm, or you know what? Maybe she she joins her right away, actually. No, there's no need to trouble you with this. Besides, you've just arrived in Fontaine, and I'm sure there are many places you would like to visit. Just leave this task to me. It's part of my duties as the producer. Very well. Then we'll be waiting to hear the good news. I'll go with you. By the way, you might want to consider bringing a gift. And don't worry, we won't simply drop you off at Farina's place. We know Farina pretty well by now, so having some familiar faces there should help your chances. <clears throat> Besides, the whole thing was our idea in the first place. All right, then I'll start making preparations. As for the gift... Uh, something sweet. Something, something like a cake or something. She will be happy. Hmm. I think. A gift for someone who was once seen as the Hydro Oricon. I wonder what she would like. I recall that Lady Farina once fancied a clockwork ring. So perhaps I should get another exquisite clockwork contraption for her. 
No. Huh? Can't we just bring some desserts like the Fontanella mousse? Yes, now we're talking. Good job, Joya. Mm, but wouldn't that be a little too cheap? She does like desserts, though. Isn't the Fontanella Festival happening right now? I heard Avel tell us on the Aqua Bus that Farina introduced I the mean... tradition of going door to door and asking for sweets. I mean, uh, I mean. There are some expensive desserts, so I mean, if you want to really buy something expensive, I guess you can find an expensive dessert. Bruh. To do something like that, she must have a real sweet tooth. I agree with Yoimiya. If the gift is too fancy, it might actually make her feel more uncomfortable. Alright then, let's go buy some Fontanelia mousse! Oh! But well, that was that a nice really sequence. Be hey, we'll be asking her to do a lot of work, you know. Wait, that's that's actually that's actually better than walking to the place yourself. Actually, you know, they should do this more. So you just continue your story from you know. Okay, they'd be like, okay, let's 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 go here, and then just cuts out, and you you go there right away without you have to get out of the quest and do the TP and whatnot. Oh yeah, but that's for if you want to. Oh yeah, they kind of need to have that sometimes. So if you need a little break, you know, if you're like, you know what, I don't want to continue right now. I I want to do something else. Hmm. Ah, I forgot right. about that. We need to further sweeten the deal. Well, you can add an option. Yeah, yeah, you can have an op option. So either you put it on so it continues, or you just turn it off and then you will go yourself. You know, if you want to. Otherwise, you just put on auto. Huh? You want something even you know? sweeter than Fontanella mousse? Yes, we'll need a gift that's sweeter than any dessert in the world. Jesus, that is sweet. But what could that be? Mm, Chi Chi? <laughs> Please? Your words of praise. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Oh well, there we go. Wait, we actually got it! Do we need to make it? Can we even make it? I have a bunch of ingredients, so we might be able to make it. Do we have a cook here? Or can I use the stuff? Did they add them anything new here? Haha! <laughs> I see, they did! Uh, or maybe not, they, this might be old, but I don't know. We have some Fanta here too. Oh ho ho! I see some secrets, secrets, secrets. Okay, let's see what they're talking about. You go ahead. No need to worry about us. Okay. Oh, I hope Farina will like the gifts we prepared. Oh, and if you still think we should get something else for her, just let me know. I should be able to make some fireworks. <laughs> you brought you 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 brought with you your powder and stuff. Damn. Hello, Ayato. What are you doing? Looking forward to the good news. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure, man. Um, I guess I can't cook here. I'll, uh, I'll just... I mean, the quest would count as we have probably already cooked one for her and whatnot. Oh, we can make... Oh, it looks pretty nice. Do what this give? Crit rate and attack, huh? You can't cook this. Fermented juice. Solid general good shop. Oh, oh my God! We need to go some get some fermented juicer. <laughs> here we are. I brought you some mousse, man. We're here. This is where Farina lives. Okay. I'll go knock on the door. Coming, coming. Ugh. Seriously, who's knocking before afternoon tea? <laughs> Whoa. Uh -huh. Who are you? <clears throat> Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. <laughs> and then you, you see the door just close. Boom! <laughs> Hello. Oh, is that 
the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. <clears throat> Paimon, try to be nice, remember? Huh? Oh, I... Uh, uh, Paimon means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. <laughs> What is Hap doing? Uh, what? no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? Uh. <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. We hope you like it. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> it's one of my favorites! Yeah, so cute! Why are their sheik so chubby, man? You just want to... I, there should be an option. You can just, just squeeze them. Just... That's great! Man! So, actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Oh? But didn't you just say that you're a director? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Are the Traveler and Paimon also part of the film crew? Yes, sir. I'm the cameraman and she's the clapper. Yep, we sure are. Paimon's the clapper loader and she's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera operator. That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. Are you really up to it? <clears throat> I have experience. I can show you if you like. No, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. So you pick up the camera. And then you point it at where you wanna, uh, you know, grab the picture. Then you press on the little button, pshing, and boom, there's the picture. Maybe you can come up with a test for the traveler and see for yourself. If she can satisfy you with her camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team. What do you say? Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm, oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Alright, how about this? We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. <laughs> Alright, a challenge? Alright, sure, no problem. Whatever you say, Director Freeman. Very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the Director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Alright, you will not dis be disappointed. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario. Okay. I got you, this is easy. Filming theme directed by Farina. Uh, Estelle is the boss of a Beaumont workshop. And has always been proud of her forging ma machine, uh, as it can not only precisely control strength of the temperature but also take no effort from the blacksmith. Let us film a promotion video for her workshop. Remember to empathize the, yeah, empathize uh, with no no, yeah yeah emphasize emphasize, not em emphasize is that what emphasize, yeah emphasize the superiority of her forging machine. Start shooting. Here we go. Emphasize. I don't think that's it. Emphasize. You will need to film several shoots according to the director's requirement and uh, and compile them into a video. Camera position is key, and you uh, you should uh, ascertain the camera position requirement beforehand. Uh, when filming, there will be a, a narration requirements. Select the most suitable narration according to the story. 
Try to satisfy all the director's filming requirements after selecting the most suitable choice for uh, the all of the camera position and narration. You may begin filming and see the results. All right. Um. Uh huh. Camera position. Use the scenes that shows the little workshop. Hmm. Do we choose one of these or what? Oh, 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 okay, 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 um, which one should we pick? Uh, frame on camp position requirement, you need, uh, you need a scene that show off the Burma workshop. This one is pretty nice, all of these are pretty nice actually. Um... I feel like this one. I want this one. I feel like that one is pretty nice. Uh, locate the court of Fontaine but more workshop is the weapon workshop you like for the machine. Okay, there you go. Camera position requirement. You need to scene that shows off the 4G machine at work. <laughs> well, <laughs> this doesn't make sense at all. Boom! Here we are. This machine can precisely control the force applied and temperature and make it perfect for doing exhausting and time-consuming work. Next scene, frame 3, camera position requirement. You need a scene that shows off the uh, atmosphere of Estelle works relaxedly. Show atmosphere uh, as Estelle works relaxedly. Um, what does that mean? You need a scene that shows off the atmosphere as Estelle works relaxedly. I guess this? Thanks to this machine, the owner of Belmont Workshop Estelle can comfortably enjoy each day at work. You need a scene that shows off the weapons arranged in boxes produced by the Belmont Workshop. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be this one. There we are. But worry not, for the weapons produced by Belmont Workshop are, out, uh, out, uh, are of outstanding quality. With exquisite crafting craftsmanship and a keen edge. I cannot read, I know, stop bugging me. You need a scene that shows off the Belmont workshop. Did I just do that with that one? Wait, hold on. A uh, scene that shows off the Belmont workshop. Yeah, and then we have. Huh. Again? Well, let's take this one then. Uh, you need a scene that shows off the memo workshop. Okay, there was two ones. Ah, this is the same one. Yeah, yeah. So, they, okay, okay. Then it makes sense. If weapons are what you want, look no further than... Then, Beamont! Start shooting. Huh? Do I need to press something or... The machine can precisely control the force applied, temperature making perfect, doing its own time consuming work. Thanks to machine on Warrior Workshop, Estelle can comfortably enjoy each day at work. But worry not, for the weapons produced by Belmont Workshop of the cold standing quality of exquisite craftsmanship and key real agile with weapon or what you want, look no further than Belmont. <laughs> oh, I'm, I can't read the fast, man. Uh -huh. It appears that you have more skill than I thought. Yep. How about that? All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. <laughs> I, w I, w I would want to I would want to try and see. I, w I wonder if they, uh, Paimon would say something. Like, it would pick just really bad composition and stuff. And she'd be like, that doesn't fit at all, Traveler. I think we should try again. You know? So, uh, so what's the verdict? Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? After our performance of the Little Oceanid, I've begun to make a name for myself again, you know. Uh-huh. In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Unfortunately, the scripts were all pretty boring and didn't pique my interest. Damn. If others were to find out I agreed to work with you so easily, then, well... Hey, but didn't we have a 
deal. What else do we need to do to convince you, Farina? Uh, well, what about the pay? Oh, uh huh. Well, I can pay you. Huh? Huh? You know <laughs> how much you're willing to pay me to be the director? The pay is also an important factor for me to consider, you know. Fair enough. Well, uh, I can offer you this much. <laughs> She'd be like, what? A measly nah. What? That's all? If Nervilet were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. <gasps> Good thing Nervilet is not here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now that I'll join your crew, there's still something I'd like to ask. Exactly what film are you planning to make? Oh, uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. Let me guess, it's our favorite. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Oh, so Farina's read it too. Here we go, I knew it! Of course I read it! I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. I see. <clears throat> it all makes sense now. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. The lack of budget is due to another issue. He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important thing to him right now. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Makes a lot of sense. Uh... What about it, Trina? Huh? Your name will be out there even more, and then you you'll get even more jobs. So, are you a big fan of this story, Farina? I mean, we're kind of rich. We could give you a little bit. Well, uh, it's all right. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. I have high standards, you know. Yes, yes, we, I, 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 yeah, I remember you, I remember you for that. Ahem, Mr. Xavier, if, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director, how much freedom would I have in terms of script revisions and creative interpretation? Oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need. I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star. Good. Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> well, I don't know why for some reason. I know he was going to say absolutely or something, but as soon as absolutely no problem, right? I was like... Absolutely not. <laughs> We're counting on you, Director Frina. Now's your chance to make a film that you love. Hmm. All right. It seems that your crew really can't go on without my care and direction. Yeah, we need your help. So, you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves. Oh. A great script calls for a great director. Oh, the little child loves you. I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? I feel like this is a part of the movie. This is a movie set right now. We are filming like... The the prequel, you know how it started. Thank you for Oh, this. Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. Okay. There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate. 
There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and casting the actors have already been taken care of, we'll still need to reserve filming locations. Not to say set up lighting and props, 